Welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra and today we're going to be exploring Design Space, um, Cricut Design Space's monogram feature. So they just came out with this uh, a couple weeks ago and I finally got around to meeting it. So <laughs> we're going to take a look and see what it's all about and show you some exciting features on it. So Design Space has done quite a few updates. This was one of them um, in their recent uh, switches or updates, whatever you want to call them. But they also added like phrases to it as well. Um, we're not going to go into that one. We're going to go right on into monogramming. So this is pretty fun. I have this hairbrush that Amazon sent me and I want I wanted to put something on it before I did a video because my videos are all crafting related. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to put my initials on it, which is pretty fun. So the first thing that you want to do when going into this monogram um, is you have to put your initials in. If you don't have anything in here, it doesn't allow you to do it afterwards. So you can't click. You can click, but you can't add it in here. You have to put it here. So my initials are C M L. And that's what I want to put on there. Um, you can choose from modern, elegant, and in, in each one of these, there's quite a few. So you're not stuck with like one for each one. Modern, elegant, there we go. These are fun, A little floral accent type, handwritten, oops. And you can add borders too. Ooh, I like that one. That is fun. That'd be a good logo. Putting it on a hairbrush though, I need something super simple. I do like these. Okay, so there's elegant, or there's handwritten, sorry. Vintage, ooh, that's fun. Maybe not with that. Let's go back. There we go. Ooh, this is nice. I could not imagine cutting vinyl that little and that thin, though. <laughs> you can just see that now being chaos. That's nice, too. All right, and then we also have um, thematic. So you've got, like, these fun words that go, or not words, Oh my goodness, I cannot talk today. Images that you could put around it. I really like this. It's simple, but super cute. There are all kinds of things to choose from. Botanical, decorative. Okay. Occasions. Oh, we could do like a birthday one, huh? Oh, graduation. That's fun. Engagement is even more fun. Oh, angel wings, teacher, cupcake, and then, okay, so you get the point on these, like, there's all kinds of different holidays. Oh, pineapple. <laughs> That's actually really fun. All right, interest, you can put antlers, butterflies, fishing hooks, thread, sea turtles, all kinds of fun things, sports, football, hockey weightlifting, cheer, baseball, soccer, you know, all the things. Oh, you can even change the lettering up here. Look at that. That's a fun soccer ball. All right, moving on. So the also the next thing that you can do is you can do any, you could do cut only, or you could do cut and draw. So this limits what you're looking at. So I want to do cut only. So I want to make sure that I'm in that one. All right. So back to my boring <laughs> um, lettering here. I want to show you what it looks like once it's on the screen, but I need to pick one first. I like how this one has the L in the middle and bigger. I don't like any of those. I like them, but not for what I'm trying to do. Nope, not those either. 
See, I like these. These are fun. I just wish this was a different font. Hmm. Which one do I want to put on a hairbrush? My computer's running really slow right now. Ooh. I like this, but I, it's weird how the C is like spaced from the L and then the M is like overlapping. Well, that's fun. I wonder if I can fix that in the spacing. All right, so this is what I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna adjust the L. So you just hit add to canvas and it loads eventually, there you go. And then you should be able to edit the, or not. You cannot really edit the monogram itself. Interesting. I'm going to have it in black. Okay. That's weird. I wanted to move the L over. But I guess I can just move the C over when I cut it. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do. Note to self. Um, and you guys, you cannot change this once it is uploaded. My computer's so slow this morning. Come on, thank you. You can do it. Yes, you can. There we go. You know, I kinda like this one too. Let's add that one to the canvas. I don't want to undo that one. Come on. I messed that up. I deleted the wrong one. Ha 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 ha. Add to canvas. I do like this one more. Alrighty. There we go. Now I'm going to size it to whatever this hairbrush will accept. If I can get it out of the package. I think it's like three inches wide. go and then we'll just select cut or make it and then I'll send it over to my maker and that's really all I've got for you guys I just wanted to show you how to use the monogram feature all the fun things that it does entail and let you know that it's there that's really it that's all I got guys <laughs> so until next time make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video, send me some comments, let me know what you're thinking, what you want to get done, and I'd be happy to help you. So, until the next video, a happy crafting, my friends. Love ya.